Sirius Radio Mystery Theater presents... I wish you'd let me buy you a dishwasher. What for? You must be the only one in town still washes by hand. <laughs> that way I'm sure to get them clean. Yeah. Mom, it's been proved the machine does a better Pass job. Pass me your plate, Bert. Okay. <laughs> the old-fashioned way is the best. I guess they are. Oh, Mom, I just remembered. I got a date. You're going out with a girl. No, no, not that kind of date. I'm going to meet Charlie in Mooney's bar. Oh, right. It's not that I think you shouldn't go out with girls. It could help on my job. But, but it's so hard to find one that's really and truly decent. I'll give you a hand with the dishes first. Oh, no, no, you go right ahead. I won't be late. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I may be all by myself, but I won't be lonesome. You got your programs on the TV. I'll be back before they're over. Stay out as long as you like. Lord knows I don't want you tied to my apron strings. I'll see you later. Uh, Bert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I notice you still have the picture of that girl. Uh, what's her name? Gloria? Gloria Smith. In your room. The the one that was murdered last week. We were just friends, Mom. I knew her from the job. Uh, shows you the kind of company she kept. <laughs> well, it wasn't her fault if some maniac murdered her. Now, how do we know it was a maniac, Bert? Who else would just knife a girl? She was a gold digger. Good night, Mom. A girl like that. What did she see in you... You have wonderful qualities, but they're all invisible. You're, you're certainly not handsome, so a girl would have to be interested in you only for your money. Now, I don't want you to get hurt. I realize that, Mom. Oh, Bert, don't you worry. One day, the right girl will come along, and we'll both be so glad to see her. <laughs> Give me a beer, I Liz. Coming up. Hey, how you guys doing on the Gloria Smith murder, Charlie? Mm, following leads. Yeah, which means you're going no place, right? 
Maybe. The girl cop ain't safe in this town. Who is? Gloria wasn't a cop, Inez. She worked for traffic control. Mr. So, Daniel. why was she killed? Well, could have been a nut. Oh, you're a big help, Charlie. Look, if you gotta hang around a bar on your time off, why pick the one across the street from the station house? Why ain't you home with a wife and the kitty? Because I'm having a few with Bert Barringer. Ugh, that creep. Now, what do you call him a creep for? He's a pretty good cop. Well, he looks like a creep. Now, he's really a nice guy. You've got to admit he's ugly. Well. Okay, so he's homely. Well, that's not his fault. No, I guess not. Hey, don't you guys see enough of each other daytime? We don't see each other at all, Inez. I'm in homicide. He's with the property office. He's got good ideas. I like to talk to him when I'm on a case. And look who just came in. Uh, hello, Inez. Charlie. Hi, Bert. Uh, pour one for my friend, Inez, huh? Coming up. Sorry I'm late, Charlie. No, it's okay. Supper was delayed at the house. It's all right. I know you wanted to get home early. Then, Bert, you don't have to apologize all the time to everybody about everything. Here you are. Thanks. You look, you look very pretty tonight, Inez. If there's nothing else, I'll leave you gentlemen to your conversation. She really is a good-looking girl. Mm. Hey, Bert, why don't you ask her out? <laughs> me? You're crazy, Charlie. Well, why am I crazy? She wouldn't give me a second look. Oh, I don't know about that. She doesn't even give me a first look. Well, ask her, why don't you? No. Uh, now, guys like you don't understand. Now, what do you mean, guys like me? Good-looking guys like you. Oh, come on, Bert. She'd go out with you if you'd ask her. Well, why would I ask her? I'm married and with three kids. She knows that. How can she, how can she go out with me? Well, she would or she wouldn't, depending. On what? On how she felt. She might or might not be in the mood. Or if she turned you down, it would be for a good reason. And if she turned you down, it wouldn't be for a good reason? No. No, if she turned me down, it would be because I'm ugly. Are we going to go through this again, Bird? No, let's, let's, let's drop it. No, let's not. I look at some of the movie stars today. Are they handsome, what our parents used to call Colorado handsome? No. They're some of the homeliest guys in the world. That isn't true. But they have personality. And when you talk to a girl, you just kind of mope around. You, you bring her down. That's why they won't go out with you, Bert. Now, you've got to get with it. Now, smile. Make yourself into an interesting guy. Now, go ahead and ask her. you got the, you got the looks for today's lover. What, what have you got to lose? Huh? Nothing. You call it nothing, Charlie, but when I ask her and she says no... Now, what makes you so sure she's going to say no? I can read it in her eyes. Loud and clear. You ugly baboon. Oh, why would I want to go out with you? I don't need that, Charlie. Now, please, let's drop it. Okay, huh? okay, okay. Now, look, you said you had some ideas about the Gloria Smith killing. Yeah. Now, first tell me, what angle are you homicide guys running with? Ah, uh, a nut, a maniac. Some guy sees her, follows her. It's a dark night, no one around, he kills her. Why? Why? Why do any of them kill? Robbery, more often than not. But a purse was there, Bert. It was unopened. Also, she was still wearing her watch and her ring, so robbery is out. Cost them their sex, but there wasn't even a try for that. This guy just came up to her, hit her a couple of times with a knife, and ran. Now, that has to make him crazy. Why? Who says he has to be crazy? Well, what else could it be? Angry. Mad. Mad enough to kill. And who says the guy was a stranger? Well, uh, why couldn't it have been somebody who knew her? Doesn't that make more sense? No, I, I don't see how. It would explain why nobody heard her scream. But why? Why? Have you, have you questioned all the guys who knew her? Who would have a motive? <sighs> okay, thanks, Bert. I have to run. I'll see you around. Night, Inez. Night, Charlie. Inez. Yeah? I'll have another. Okay. Uh, could I buy you one? No. It's quiet this evening. Yeah. Is old man Mooney off tonight? Mm-hmm. Uh, look, I, uh... Well? You want to go out Saturday night? No. Oh? I got a date. How, how about Sunday? Sunday night? I like to stay home. Monday? Well, this uh, next week I'm uh, I'm working every night. Oh, 
a week after next week? Well, look, it's hard to tell. I don't, I don't know the work schedule. Yeah. Well, I just... Uh... Hey, it's getting kind of late. It sure is. I got an early day tomorrow. Well, good night. Good night. More salad, Bert. No. No, thanks, Mom. Uh, you know, I, uh, I noticed you have a picture of another girl in your room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Uh, who is she? Oh, just some girl. Oh, what's her name? Inez. Inez Sarota. Hmm. I, are you sure this girl's in perfect health? She looks a bit thin. Oh, that's because it's a candid photo. She, she didn't even know I took it. Yeah, she seems to be wearing a lot of makeup. Well, girls do. Oh, well, you just find yourself an old-fashioned girl that doesn't. Do you mind if I go out tonight, Mom? Bert, are you asking my permission? Well, I only mean... Oh, please, you make me feel like some devouring, tyrannical kind of mother. Well, I just wanted to be sure you you were okay. Oh, Bert. Darling, you, you shouldn't worry so much about me. You should be concerned with meeting a lovely girl and getting married and establishing a home and family of your own. Yes, Mom. catch the last bus. And by the time it gets to your stop, it's kind of deserted. You still got a pretty long walk. So? I, I figured I'd walk you home. Oh, yeah. That's what you figured. You don't mind, do you? You know, I guess you just can't take a hint, can you, Bert? What do you mean? I just don't go for you, Bert. Why not? Oh, look. I don't have to explain. Explain it. It's because you don't like the way I look, right? You... You want to lay it on the line? Sure. I love you. Well, that's just too bad. You go out with everybody. Why not me? Well, why is that your business? I told you why. I love you. Excuse me. i got to get home. Alone. All the fellas you run around with, none of them loves you. Will you please get out of my way? Is even one of them here now to see that you get home safe? Look, if you don't get out of here, I'll call a cop. I'm a cop. A cop? Yeah, you push a pencil in a new office. You're a clerk. I love you. But I don't love you. Why? I don't even like you. Why? Because you give me the creeps. My face gives you the creeps, huh? <laughs> now you're talking. I'm ugly, huh? I'm the ugliest man you've ever seen, huh? In spades. I can get a nightmare just looking at you. All right. <laughs> Would you like to never see my face anymore? Oh, that'd be asking too much. I can arrange for you never to see me again. Never. <laughs> what do you... What do you... What do you You'll what do you never see that? anybody's face no, please, anymore. Please, please don't. Please don't. No, not with a knife. Please. No, no, no. Oh, oh. You'll never see anybody's oh. face again. Oh. Even the handsome ones. Never. Never again. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no. No, no, please. No, please. To somebody. Oh, uh, so some, somebody stop me. Come on, somebody stop me, please. Bert. Bert. Wake up, Bert. Uh, oh. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop... Somebody stop you from what? Somebody... St uh, I don't know. <laughs> it was something terrible. Oh, now, how could you do something terrible? You're such a fine boy. Oh, now, give Mom a kiss. And that's it. Good night. Sleep tight. Yes, Mom. See you in the morning. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. You know what they want?
once said about Cleopatra, if her nose had been a half inch longer, it would have changed the map of the world. Well, here we have Bert Farringer, and if his nose had been a half inch shorter, two women, perhaps, might still be alive. I shall return shortly with Act Two. the world go round. A rather beautiful sentiment, no? You know who said that? Lewis Carroll said it. And the world he was referring to must have been the one Alice found in Wonderland. But how about our own world? The fact is, it does go round and round and round, but what keeps it spinning? A safe bet it isn't love. Uh, uh, that that girl whose picture's in your room. I'll have another cup of coffee, Mom. Uh, what was her name? Inez something? I have to be going. I'm late. Well, here's her picture in the paper. What? What's she done? Oh, she went and got herself murdered. Inez? Oh, where do you get these girlfriends, Bert? Mom, they weren't my girlfriends. I just happened to know well, them. Some fell up and stabbed her to death last night. Fine crowd she must have run around with. On this, Sirota, 27 to 37 Hollywood Lane. Oh, is there any decent On her way left? home from work. Oh, Bert, I, I wish you'd meet a nice young lady. No apparent motive for the crime. Give me that paper. Now, it's not good to fill your mind with depressing news. Who, who could have killed her? She was such a sweet girl. 20 to 8. I'm really going to be late now, Mom. Well, eat a light lunch. It's going to be a hot day. No. No, according to my receipt, you signed for a flashlight. I can't issue you a new one till you bring in the old one. I know you lost it. Well, you have to fill out form number 187K. Yeah. Yeah, I lost equipment after David. Six weeks. You're very welcome, I'm sure. Morning, Bert. Oh, hello, Charlie. You're about Inez. Yeah. Gee, it's a shame. You you want to work on it? Well, I'm uh, still on Gloria Smith. You know, maybe they could be connected. Some guy who knew them both. But why would it have to be somebody who knew them? Why couldn't it be a random thing? You got some nut running loose who just came across both of them. You ever stop to think of something, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Both girls knew each other, right? Yeah. Gloria worked in this building, and Inez worked in Mooney's across the street. Bert, what are you trying to bring out? I don't know. Both girls are in the same neighborhood. Maybe the killer's from the neighborhood, too. Well, anything's possible. <laughs> That's why you homicide guys should look in the neighborhood. The killer could be very close to home. Uh, check on their boyfriend. Uh, Bert, Bert. Uh, let me close the door, huh? Uh, Bert. Bert, you're the best friend I got. I hope so, Charlie. Now, i got to talk to somebody, somebody, or I'll just bust. Well, sure. I, uh, I don't know how to start this. You see, Bert, you meet a girl, you fall in love, you get married. You know how it is? No. Well, take my word for it. Anyway, this girl you meet, you fall in love with, you marry, you think, you think she's the whole world. Isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. For a while. It's nobody's fault. What's nobody's fault? What happens to a girl afterward? You see, you see, Bert, she loses what it was that made you fall in love to begin with. I don't understand. No, no, you wouldn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bert. No offense meant. None taken. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's nobody's fault, least of all hers. She stays home, she has kids. But just having a kid can do something to a girl's looks. She gets fat, you know, a little sloppy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but what well, it's gonna... tough. It's tough for a bright girl to stay home and wash diapers, clean the house. She she just becomes somebody else. Somebody you just you just can't like anymore. Somebody who's no fun anymore. Will you listen to me? I'm all wound up. It's all right, Charlie. So so a guy can't help himself, Bert. You come home and it's nag, 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 and she's right. But what can I do? In the meanwhile, it's a big world out there, Bert. There are girls, girls who want to have fun, just like you do. Do you understand? Yeah. No strings. 
just a few laughs. Now, with all due respect, Bert, you're, you're inside all day in the office. Sure, you wear a shield, you carry a gun, but you could just as well be doing that job for any civilian company. I guess so. But, but Bert, Bert, I'm out there where it's ugly and mean and dangerous, where people die, innocent people. It gets to you. So I, so I have to relax. You see, I have to have to have a couple of drinks and go dancing, and then afterward, uh... <sighs> Bert, I can't do that with my wife anymore. And that's why, uh... <sighs> that's why, you uh... What, Charlie? Well, the captain gave me the job of running down the boyfriends of Gloria Smith and Inez. But I can't... I can't run them down too far. Why not? Because, because I'm a boyfriend myself, Bert. You? Yeah, yeah, me. And what's worse, I could be the only guy who's gone out with both of them. Oh. Yeah. But how, how would that look to the captain, huh? <sighs> but you didn't kill him. How do you know? How do I know? Because you're not the type. Well, what is, what is the type, Ed? The girl gives you the eye. You know what I mean? She knows you're married. She knows you may not like your wife anymore, even though you still love her. Understand? Yeah. No, I don't think you do. No. Any, anyway, she knows it's 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 got no real future. But you straighten all that out before the first date. It's all only for a few laughs, but the laughs get fewer and fewer, and then the crying begins, and out of nowhere, it's serious. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And, and they. Wants you to divorce your wife and do what? Marry them. But what good is that? If you marry him, you're back where you started. Couldn't you just say no? No, no, no. That's impossible. It's impossible to make a woman hear the word no when the only word she wants to hear is yes. Oh? Okay, it could be embarrassing, but what are you really worried about? You didn't kill him, did you? I don't know. Charlie! I don't know, Bert, I don't. But a thing like that, a guy who kills, he, he has to know. How could you not know? Bert, listen to me. Each one of them, they threatened me. They threatened that they'd go to my wife. They'd go to the department. You want to keep your voice down, Charlie? I mean, you can never tell who's standing outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, you're right. Anyway, each, each one of them, in turn, laid it on the line. You're going to marry me or else they got me so mad I couldn't see any way out. And then Gloria got killed. Gloria Smith. Oh, Lord, she was beautiful, wasn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a break, I said to myself. Somebody, somehow, some mad killer got me off the hook. And I can't tell you how grateful I was. To a killer? Bert, he took her life, but he saved mine. I had nowhere to go except maybe to the holster, and one bullet would have ended my troubles forever. No, Charlie, not you. No, you don't, you don't know. You don't know what dames can do to you, Bert. No, just give thanks that you're not good-looking. You, you're better off out of it, Bert. But I, I forget. And before I knew it, I was running around with Inez. Didn't you learn your lesson, Charlie? What lesson? What lesson? Who learns, Bert? It got involved just as, just as deep. And it was the same thing, just as I'm about to end it all. She turns up dead. Okay. How? Why? A maniac. No, 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 Bert. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Your original theory. Your original theory is right. What theory? A boyfriend. And I am the boyfriend. I'm the one who had the motive, the opportunity. Therefore, I'm the one who must have done it. Charlie, are you confessing? I, I don't know. I don't know. But... but... But surely you should know if you if you kill those no, girls. No, no, no. You can do it without knowing it. I can't believe that. Well, sure. In that psychology course I was taking at night, you see, you can want to do something very badly, but if it's against your moral code, like murder, you can make yourself do it without knowing it. Oh, uh, no, no. I I can't believe no, that. It's true. It's true, Bert. Now, what, why do you think people walk in their sleep? No, but murder. You can make yourself live a whole other life without being aware of it, Bert. No, oh, I could have killed Gloria. I could have killed Inez. I was at the end of my rope. No, Charlie. No. Well, who else? Who else had a motive? What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go have a drink. Well, not across the street, okay? I, I could never I could never walk into that joint again. Well, let's go across town someplace where we've never been before. Yeah, huh? yeah. The further away, the better. <laughs> Mr. 
Nice little joint, there. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Britt, take a look at what's standing bar. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> well, what will it be, officer? Oh, well, how do you know we're cops? <laughs> it's a gift. My name's Maud. A couple of beers. On the way. Hey, Bert, why don't you ask her out? Nah, she wouldn't go out with me. Nah, how do you know? She'd go out with you. Yeah, but I'm not going to ask her. I'm through with that. No, I'm through forever. But this time I'm in it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a quick one, and I'm going to get out of here. But, but why? Because I want you to have a clear field. I, I, she wouldn't go out. something? Do you know something, Bert? I'm not even going to have a drink. I'm taking off right this way. Wait, wait, Charlie, well, wait, I know no. what I'm doing. Well, just not one, even then. one, nothing. Oh, I'll even with you. Then. Don't be a chump. Ask her out. She wouldn't go out with me. She would. She would. Just ask. What have you got to lose? I'll see you around, huh? Oh, here's your two beers. Oh, where's your friend? He had to take off. All of a sudden? Yeah, he just remembered. He had to meet his wife. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't I know what? Guys like him, they're always married. Well, well I'm not married. Uh, the two of you, you're pretty good friends, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I was just wondering... I would say he's about 30 years old, right? If you weren't doing anything some night... How, how long has he been married? It doesn't have to be a Saturday night. It D- could does be... he have any kids? Like any night happen to be free, huh? I'll tell you one thing. His wife is lucky. Would you... Uh, would you like to go out with me? Listen, tell your pal anytime he wants to come in, first drink's always on the house. Yeah. Uh, Bert, I, I noticed there's a picture of a new girl in your room. I didn't know you were attracted to redheads with freckles and large staring eyes. <laughs> She's really much prettier in person, Mom. Mm. If she is, she should photograph much better. Well, this is just a candid. She didn't even know how I took it. What's her name? Maud. Maud what? Maud Lazinski. <laughs> Sounds like one of those foreigners. I never asked. Uh, is she your new girlfriend? Oh, Mom, she's just some girl I met. Well, I hope she doesn't end up like all the others. <laughs> seems to be a little pattern operating here, no? Offhand, we get the idea that Bert Barringer is a dangerous man to turn down when he asks for a date. Well, at least he has her picture in his room. Maybe that can hold him for a while. I'll be back in just a few moments with Act Three. center of a circle whose fatal circumference he cannot break. Well, maybe, and maybe not. There are those of us who somehow manage to go beyond our own circumference, beyond the psychological limits of our own morality. In other words, there are some people who simply do not know what they are doing. Hello. Hi. You, you don't remember me, huh? Oh. Um. I was in here a couple of nights ago with another guy. And even though we were in plain clothes, you spotted us for cops right off. Charlie! No, no, I'm not Charlie. I'm Bert. Oh, I know. How's Charlie? He doesn't get out much at night. What with being a married guy and all. Uh, When's the last time you were with Charlie? Listen, I was thinking... Does he have a girlfriend? Do you like to go see shows? There's this great musical playing downtown. Right from Broadway in, 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 in New York. You just can't get tickets, but a... A friend of mine, he was able to get a pair, and it turns out he can't go. So I can have him. It's for tomorrow night. Are you doing anything? You want to go? What do you say, huh? Oh, what do I say to what? Ah, nothing. No. 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 I don't want to. Stop me. Somebody stop me, please. Somebody stop me. Stop me. Bert, Bert, dear, wake up. Somebody... Stop me, stop me. Stop me. Get up. Stop. stop. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, darling, you were having a nightmare. Uh, what were you dreaming about? About them, Mama. 
I dream about them. Who, darling? Inez, Gloria. Oh, why? Why should you dream about those two? Because, Mama, because I... I killed them. Oh, my poor boy. Why should you dream you killed them? I don't kill them in my dreams, Mama. I really killed them. Oh, no, not you, not my bird. I can't help it. I killed them. Oh. I kill again. They laugh at me. No, no, no. You need your sleep. It's important for you to rest. Mama, I should turn myself in. For what? For murder. Now, don't say that. But I don't have the courage. Please, Mama, stop me. Stop me from killing. Oh, Bird, go back to sleep. Do you get your rest? Mama. That's a good Mama, boy. Mama, remember, Mama, I asked you to stop me. I asked you. I want you to notice me. Yeah? Well, consider yourself noticed. Now be it. I want you to look at me. Listen to me. Okay. Now take off before I call a cop. I'm a cop. Yeah? Don't you remember me? But why would I remember you? I remember you. My name is Bert. Bert? Yeah, I'm Charlie's buddy. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Y you know, I just saw Charlie. Shut up. Huh? Shut up. Huh? I don't want to talk about Charlie. I want to talk about me. Yeah? Yeah, me, Bert Barringer. I'm a human being. I got feelings. I'm a normal guy like other guys. Now look, Bert, if, if that's what your name is. Yes, it's Bert. I must have told you 50 times. But you don't remember. You look at me as if I, I don't exist. Sh look, it's getting kind of late. I... I'm not leaving till I say what I come to say. I I'm asking you in a nice way. Why don't you notice me? Look, if you don't leave here this minute, I'll now, call the station house. Why don't you go out with me? I could show you a good time. I'm a gentleman. I'll treat you like a lady. You're crazy. Dinner in the finest restaurant. Afterwards, a show. Hey, that, that sure sounds great. Well, we'll do it tomorrow. No, we'll do it tonight. Oh, but I, I can't. Well, you what? I, I, I... You're trying to get rid of me, oh, no, huh? No, no, it's just that I'm tired. You don't want to go out with me. Tell the truth. Oh, please, don't, don't come closer. We'll, well, we'll go out tomorrow. We'll never go out. You think I'm a creep, No, no, huh? please. You're An you ugly know, creep, please. huh? That's what you think I am. That's why you don't want to look at me. Well, you won't have to look at me anymore. Please don't. Nothing. Nothing. See? I look in your eyes and they see nothing. You'll never have to look at me again. Never, never again. Foolish Maud. I was so much in love with you. Why didn't you ever notice me? Hey, Bert, here are your eggs. Uh, you were out late last night, weren't you? Did you have a date? No, Mom. Oh, you don't have to be afraid to tell me. My goodness, even if you did go out with that pop-eyed redhead, where do you get such an atrocious taste in women? <laughs> we interrupt our morning musicale for a bulletin. Another mysterious murder. The latest victim of a mad killer is Miss Maud Lisinski. Maud Lisinski? The, the one whose picture is in your room? She was found strangled to death in her apartment just a few hours ago. So far, there seems to be no apparent motive for the murder. We'll bring you more details as they come in. Oh, who could have killed her? Mama, now listen to me. Oh, Bert, now don't talk nonsense. We go through this every day. I told you. Fill out a lost property form, 187A. Okay? Yeah, well, the same to you. Hi, Bert. Hello, Charlie. You got a minute? Sure. Sit down. You heard about Mort? Yeah, it's a shame. You got any leads? Bert, I know who did it. I got the killer. That's terrific. Who is it? Me. Oh, come on, Charlie. Bert, don't say anything, please. I'm here because you're the only one I can really talk to. With Gloria, I can only suspect. With Inez, I was pretty sure. With Maud, I'm positive. But why? Well, for starters, Bert, I knew all three of them. Now, who else did? Well, 
me? You, you don't count. I, I, I mean... I know what you mean. Mike. Well, even so, you didn't want to kill him, any of them. What reason would you have, Bert? Me, me, I lost control. I remember I wanted to shoot Gloria. She was found dead. I wanted to stab Inez right through the heart. It happened to her. And Maud... Maud was the worst. What I wanted to do was choke her to death with my bare hands, and that's just how she died. But you told me before... You didn't know for a fact that you're the killer? I have to be. I am the killer. And I'm going to pay for it. Oh, you're going to turn yourself in? Bird, Bird, I have a wife, kids. How can I go to jail? They'd be disgraced for life. Well, the only thing I can do is... is kill myself. No, Charlie, you're not the killer. I know you're not. Oh, yeah, how do you know? Because... because I'm the killer. What? I. I'm the killer. Oh, Bird... Bird, I thought I knew what friendship was, but not until just now. You take the rap for me, Bert. I killed him, Charlie. I couldn't help myself. Believe yeah, me. Yeah, sure, sure, pal. I'm too scared now to confess, too frightened to sign a statement, but I will. I will. No, 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 pal. Don't try to save me. I have to get caught sooner or later. I can't go on getting tied up with names and being forced to kill him to break free. Charlie... It isn't you, it's me. Bert, don't try to save me. I'm not worth it. I don't learn. Gloria, Inez, Maud, and if a good-looking dame was to give me the eye right this minute, I'd be off and running. Charlie, you've got to believe me. No, I know. I know what I've got to do. My conscience won't let me do anything else. Promise me. Promise me you won't do anything foolish. Promise. Sure, sure, Bert, sure. <laughs> Look, Bert, if you want another drink, okay. If you want to ask what I think you're going to ask, forget it. Would you like to go to a basketball game? No. I can get tickets to the finals. No. Doreen, Doreen, why don't you go out with me? That's how it is, Bert. I happen to know you're not going steady or anything. I'm sorry. Is it because you think I'm an ugly creep? Ah. Oh. I don't think you're ugly. I don't think you're a creep. Then why won't you go out with me? Well, I... Oh, I guess you could just say the chemistry isn't right. Oh, excuse me, Bert. I have to serve those folks at the other end, okay? Eat some more cereal, Bert. You need the roughage. <laughs> I see you got another girl's picture in your room. Uh, yeah, yeah. Doreen. Doreen Coswell. But that's neither here nor there. Why do I have nightmares in which I dream I kill these girls? Yes, you had one last night. Stop me, stop me, you shouted. Stop me before I kill again. Oh, Bert, I didn't have the heart to wake you. Mama. Hmm? Mama, you have to help me. You have to come to the station house with me. I killed Gloria and Inez and Maud. Doreen, she's next because she laughs at me too. We interrupt for a special news bulletin. Officer Charles Foster was found dead in his police car early this morning. No. He committed suicide with a single bullet from his service revolver. He left a note in which he wrote, I confess to the murders of Gloria Smith, Inez Sirota, and Maud Lisinski. May the Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh, no. Further no. details as they come in. He... He didn't kill them. Now, you see, Bert, your friend Charlie was the guilty one all along. Stop me. Please, Mama, stop this. Call me. Wake up, Bert. Wake up. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, no, that's enough. Enough nonsense. Stop me, Mama. I don't want to kill again. Your friend Charlie, your handsome friend, did it. You envy him his good looks, so you make up for it by trying to accept the blame. You're being childish. Mama, help me. Yes, of course, but first, relax. Relax. Yes, yeah, some nice, quiet, soothing music to relax your nerves. Stop me, Mama. It's over. It's all over. Charlie confessed. But I killed them. Oh, darling, you didn't kill anybody. Not a 
son couldn't kill anybody. A special report. The body of a young lady was found in her apartment late this evening. I beg you, Mama. She was strangled. She was identified as Miss Doreen Caswell. I beg you to stop me. Doreen Caswell? We will have further details on the hour. I killed her, Mama. No, Bert. She laughed at me. Bert. Call the station. No, no. Please, Mama, help me. Take me to the station house, please. Oh, my poor little boy. Yes, Mama. I'm your little boy. My little boy who never grew up. Call the station house. Bert, I... I, I... Dial the number, Mama. Bert, you, you... I'm afraid to go by myself. But if you go with me, everything will be all right. Ask for Captain Halliday. He'll know what to do. Hello. May I have Captain Halliday? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Sons and mothers, and silver cords, and illusions, and the secret hurts and the unhealed wounds, and love. Yes, the answer is, love must be blind. That explains why love blunders and stumbles and gets everyone into trouble. If only love could see where it was going. But then uh, perhaps it would no longer be love. I shall return in just a few moments. Hello, I'm Rick Barry of the Golden State Warriors. As a professional basketball player, I know that good defense makes a winner. Cancer chemotherapy is one of the most important kinds of defense I can think of. It helps arrest and control cancer, the ravaging disease that afflicts one-third of our adult population. Chemotherapy treatment, which means the medicinal use of chemical agents, can control some of the most common forms of cancer. Proper and timely use of this treatment can result in patients leading extended and productive lives. But scientists have only begun to tap the pool of therapeutic drugs at their disposal. To continue this costly process, your support is needed. Send a check today to Chemotherapy, Box 8, New York 10028. Remember, the best offense against cancer is a good defense, like chemotherapy. Rick Barry is right. Chemotherapy can relieve suffering from cancer while it checks the growth of the runaway cancer cells. Your donation will continue this relief. Think about it. Then send a check to Chemotherapy, Box 8, New York, 10028. Mr. James Barry once told us, let no one who loves be called altogether unhappy. Even love unreturned has its rainbow. We must respectfully disagree. Our story has been, perhaps, the ultimate in unreturned love. And look at what happened to all the lovers in it. Well, that's one of the hazards that accompany love, which is certainly, far and away, the most dangerous pastime or occupation known to man and woman. Our cast included Howard Da Silva, Larry Haynes, Bryna Rayburn, and E.V. Jester. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now, a preview of our next tale. You mean when I crashed during the Stuttgart raid, he helped you and the others smuggle me out and back to England? He was the one who picked you up when you parachuted down. He risked his life for you, dragging an unconscious man in daylight right under the noses of the Germans to one of our hideouts. Oh, so my hat's off to him, but these are different times. What different times? To help any member of the underground is simply a reflex action, as tonight. And at any time, I would trust Jean with my life. I would always be sure that... What? What is it? Oh, something in the pocket of my coat. He must have slipped it there when he embraced me. Well, what? <gasps> it's a necklace, a diamond necklace. Shh, not the police coming back. You better report it to no. But if you love me, if you ever want to marry me, say nothing. Let me do the talking. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Exlax and Buick Motor Division. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. 
Until next time, pleasant dreams.